the band brass, baby. Hey, yo, bro, look, what is good, man? It is your boy, Nigel, you feel me? I am back with some more good content. Now, look, for the past two weeks, you feel me? I've been a little MIA, getting adjusted to this new job that I have and everything, saving up the money, getting ready for the, to get this camera that I've been wanting to get because the Band Bros is really finna be popping out this year. I really do believe this is going to be a big year for us. Hey, we've been asked to host a couple of events. We've been asked to record a couple of events, attend a couple of events, and you're going to see us everywhere. I'm ready to get this camera. But, look, brought to you by... Smash Time Productions, hey, look, we have Edna Carr versus St. Augustine. Now, look, Edna Carr is like a baby boom. I'm not going to lie to you. They're band directors from Jackson, so they be bringing the smoke. St. Augustine ain't no slouch either. St. Augustine be creasing on niggas. I'm, I'm not going to lie. They be creasing on niggas too. So I know this battle is going to be real good. Smash Time, thank you again for this great content. I'm going to react to this, bro. I'm going to give y'all y'all honest take of what I believe. Now, with these being students, of course, in high school, I'm not going to go as ham as I would if this was college, but I'm still going to give my honest opinion, man. So, look, I'm ready to see this, bro. Let's get into it. Smash time is in the building. Oh, my gosh. I had to turn that down a little bit. This must be St. All. Yeah, this is St. All. I can tell because St. All got black dots. And uh and the car usually marks with uh uh fiber heads, fiber skins, I'm sorry. Okay, dynamics. Hey, St. All bringing it. St. All bringing it. Now, I'm not going to lie. And now, I'm not mad at y'all for warming up. But St. All can, can probably use this as an opportunity to play on y'all again. That's what I would do. No disrespect. That's what I would do. That sound like a third band. That don't even sound like St. All. Damn, can't even hear the other band no more. <laughs> That's tough. 
That is tough. I'm not gonna lie, I'm rocking with both sounds. I'm rocking with both sounds. I'm gonna take a high feel. Alright, now let me say this. First round. Okay, first round. First, uh, I feel bad for the third band because you got to understand that St. Augustine and Edna Carr are some very, very, very high clout, high notoriety, powerful high school bands. So, for the third band that's there trying to be in the battle, it probably was probably set up to be a three-way battle. The highlights is going to be St. Augustine and Edna Carr, not being rude or funny, just being honest with you. Um... Back to these bands. So look, I'm not gonna lie to you. So far, just from what I'm feeling, I'm feeling the energy coming from both both uh, uh, both ensembles. I'm definitely feeling the energy. Uh, if I had to choose, like for real, for real, I can give that a tie because, I, in my honest opinion, both bands really are bringing it. But I gotta give that first round to Saint Aug. Saint Aug actually just just overall like just for real for real. Listen, both bands sound good. I'm not trying to say they don't. What I am saying though is just Saint Aug just came out the gate with a little bit more intensity. That's what it felt like. Not saying Edna Car wasn't loud. Not saying Edna Car wasn't trying to smack on them back. It just felt like Saint Aug came out creasing the entire time. So I'm gonna get that first round of Saint Aug. Let's keep it going. Hey, y'all sound good. It's not much to say. I'm hearing all y'all sections. I'm hearing all y'all sections. I'm hearing all y'all sections. I'm not gonna lie. I like it. I like it. Hey, tempo, tempo, tempo. All right, y'all recover. Y'all recover. Mm. 
Now, I definitely hear Ed McCarr's bones more than I hear St. Augustine's trombones. No disrespect. But it look like y'all got way more bones, though. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, now look. <clears throat> Edna Carr, y'all recovered. Y'all definitely recovered. Um, y'all had a little bit of some tempo issues at the beginning, though. I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, I forgot the band director name, uh, the main band director, but you seen him slide the drum major over so he could direct that side so they can see him more. Um, I, I gotta get that around to St. Aug, though. I gotta get that around to St. Aug. Um, St. Aug, man, for real, for real, listen. I'm not saying, Edna, y'all aren't coming with no smoke because y'all definitely are. Shit, y'all, honestly, y'all high school band could beat a lot of college bands, if I'm being honest with y'all. It has nothing to do with, like, oh, y'all just not playing or y'all not loud. I think St. Augustine is just executing this much better right now. No disrespect. They're just executing much better. Because, um, like I said before, some sections are going to outshine other sections. Like, Edna Carr's bones are definitely outshining St. Augustine's bones because they have more bones. You feel me? Uh, whereas, in my honest opinion, St. Augustine's tubas is outshining Edna Carr's tubas. That's just from what I'm listening to. You know, I'm listening to each section to see who I'm really hearing and feeling more. But I got to get that second round of St. Augustine as well. St. Augustine executed that arrangement and that round just a little bit more better. You know, Edna Carr, I think it's nothing wrong with what y'all are doing. I just think, hey, look, let's get comfortable. Let's get our nerves and our feet under us and everything. And, hey, let's come with the smoke. Round three. Let's keep it going. Bro, killing it on the keys, man. I love that sound he's giving the band. He's giving the band that sound. Hey, St. Aug, man. St. Aug ain't playing. They are not playing. See, I feel bad for that third band. Nobody's really trying to listen to right now. It's between these two bands.
Okay. Okay. Now that's the end of Korra. That's the end of Korra. Okay. <laughs> I think someone said 2-1. Uh, and I'm going to get that round of tie. I'm going to get that round of tie because, listen, St. Augustine is not taking their foot off y'all necks, Edna. They are not taking their foot off y'all necks. But that was a very good response to what they played, for real, for real. I like both arrangements that both bands did play. The power and the sound is there. It comes down between these two powerhouses. Who's executing better? I don't care if one section has 20 and one section and the other section has 10. I don't care if one section has eight UFOs and the other section has four. Who executes and sounds better? In that round, if I'm being honest with you, listen, so far, St. Augustine, let's just be honest. For the people who do watch this video, don't take this the wrong way when I say this. But, I, I mean, I'm, I, I love both bands, so I'm not being biased towards one or the other. Um, both bands, hey, both bands have had their moments where they sound thin in certain areas. But then both bands also have their moments where they sound very strong in, in a lot of places. St. Augustine has overall, from my opinion and my perspective of what I'm listening to, St. Augustine has sounded more full than Etna Carr has. But that don't mean Etna Carr is no slouch. They, that, that don't mean you take them for granted either. So I'm going to get that around the tie. You feel me? I'm going to get that around the tie. So 3-1 is the score. Let's keep it going. I'm not gonna lie, St. August, St. August, hey, that's all I can say, I don't even know what to say, they are coming with it, alright Trumpets, I heard that a little bit, clean that up, clean that up, the keys is giving y'all some flavor for real for real bro on the keys if y'all don't know that's the guy right beside the saxophone he give me y'all flavor i love it okay mellows oh my gosh Woo! 
Hey, Edna, what's our response, bro? Hey, this is a solid response, Edna. This is a solid response. I'm not gonna lie. I just, ooh. I gotta see how y'all finish this whole arrangement before I speak on it. All right, 17 minutes in, 21 minutes left to go, or sorry, 17 minutes with a total of 21 minutes. Um, so I'm I'm thinking it's gonna be one more round. Hey, this is a very good round. This is a very interesting round because listen, and it's interesting because in my honest opinion, right? Um, Saint Augustine's creasing, bro, and it's not even just the creasing, like because they're both cranking. Saint Augustine's arrangements, though. It's just they're they're just overall giving it to me a little bit more than Edna Carr. But what I will say about Edna Carr is Edna Carr has some very good response. Like they're they're having some very good respondings to what you know St. Augustine is playing. That last arrangement that St. Augustine played though, really listen, I'm I'm leaning towards wanting to give St. Augustine that round. I just don't want people who watch this from Edna Carr to think I'm hating on Edna Carr, because I'm not. I love Edna Carr. I love it in the car. It's just like if I'm listening and I had to turn it down just so I could fully hear it and not just hear straight watts in my head. But if I'm listening from this video, because I wasn't there in person, but from this video, St. Augustine's coming with it just a little bit more than in the car. In the car, which I just played was very tough. It was very tough. So this is the thing, the, the dilemma that I'm in, right? I want to give that to St. Augustine because overall that arrangement just was better to me. But Edna Carr also had a very good response. They didn't lie down. They didn't play some some something that was just like, why would they play that? They actually came back. I forgot that song was called, but Talladega played that. You feel me? So I, I think I want to get that round to St. Augustine, but I also want to be a fair person and give it to uh, give it a tie because I like Edna Carr's response. Now, one more round to go at this point. If I give it a tie, it's going to be 4-2. So even if Edna Carr wins the round, it's still going to end up going to St. Augustine. So and with that being the case, I'm probably going to give that a tie because for the people who need to have clarification, St. Augustine's arrangement was better. But I can't discredit the fact that Edna Carr had a nice response. They, they had a nice response. Students, if y'all watch this from both bands, I love both of y'all. I love all y'all. What y'all do, you feel me? Y'all are young musicians who are finna go into the real world as far as in the band world first, hopefully in college, and be great and turn out a whole program that deserves to have y'all talent. So don't take this as me hating because it's not hating. Y'all are bringing it. I just believe for those who truly love music and who are truly listening to the video the way I'm listening to it, you should probably feel and think the same way that I think. That's just my opinion. Not saying you have to agree with the rounds per se, but I do believe overall St. Augustine is just outdoing at the car just by a little bit for real for real. a little bit a lot whoever you might want to call it whoever is viewing this some might say a lot some might say a little so i'm gonna get that around a tie i'm gonna give it a tie so now the score is four two let's keep it going this is probably the last round
St. Augustine just sounds full, bro. Like, they sound full. See, I really, I definitely hear in the car trombones way more than St. Hall. And I know it's a lot of commotion. It's a lot of bands out there. You can tell. But I definitely been hearing in the car's bones more than St. Hall. But every other section, for the most part, feels like they out doing it in the cars. I'm not going to lie. I'm not gonna lie, I like, I like this arrangement though in the car, I'm not gonna lie. That's the battle that is the battle that is the battle um hey first let's say let's let's all take the time to give a big shout out to both high school bands because they are doing a damn thing shout out to the directors the dancers the drummers the musicians shout out to everybody in both programs because y'all are doing the damn thing uh as far as it goes for that last round um listen saint augustine brought out back at it and it actually sounds kind of similar to ASU's arrangement of back at it. And I'm not going to lie. And the car, I don't know what that song was that y'all played, but I actually rock with that response as well. You know, I felt it a little bit more. Um, I'll, I'll just give that round a tie as well. I'll give that round a tie. Because honestly, the score or outcome doesn't matter because overall, St. Augustine did get this battle. That's how I'm going to put it like that. Um, hey, I miss, I miss doing these reactions. I know it's been only two weeks, but I actually miss 
this content. I miss band, you feel me? So I'm definitely ready to be out there in these streets getting these recordings done, getting all this stuff posted. Because like I said it before, the band bros finna take off. Um, overall though, let's do a little slight recap. So now for the people who do watch this video, first, if you enjoy this video, subscribe. If you enjoy, comment. Tell me some other bands to react to. Like I said, I'm finna get the Carver and the uh, McDonough 35 to y'all as well. Definitely excited to see that. But listen, as far as it goes for this battle, once again, for the people who watch this, band directors, whoever watches this, I need y'all to hear in my voice when I say this, that there is no hatred coming from my heart to any of these students or programs, because I love both programs. I just do believe St. Augustine was more prepared for this battle than Edna Carr was. That's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. So with that being the case, look, good job, St. Aug. Good job, Edna Carr, for real, for real. Listen, both bands going to always bring them watts and bring that smoke, you feel me? I just believe St. Augustine was ready. It felt like, let's say this was a battle that was known beforehand, it was going to happen. It felt like St. Augustine really, really prepared for this battle a little bit more compared to Edna Carr. That's all I'm getting at. But look, man. Like I said before, if you rock with this video, comment, subscribe. For those who end up watching this, tell me what y'all think. For the ones who was there in person, tell me what y'all think. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? I don't think I'm tripping, but I could be. But look, let me know what y'all think. This the band bros, and I'm out. It's the band bros, baby.